name is Oliver Graham and you're watching the HL Metal. Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, how has the tour been? How has the tour been with Dark Funeral so far? It's been uh, definitely very good shows. Uh, I mean, this is a very strong package. Uh, I'll start Funeral and Morbid Angel. Uh, I think it's one of the strongest packages out this year. So, uh, very good shows. Everybody kind of knows each other from before, so it's very familiar and uh, very easygoing times, really. All right, cool. Um, were you fans of either of the bands in particular before the tour was put together? Uh, yeah, both of them, definitely. Uh, I mean, Morbid Angel was uh, a huge influence on us when we uh, started our band and grew up and, and heard their demos on the first album and so on. So, so definitely, I toured with them in 93 in Europe as well, so I know those guys pretty well from before. And Dark Funeral, also one of uh, the like real black metal bands, I think, that, that still run today. Okay. From your 2009 album, Burial Ground, to your release this year, you lost one member and gained two. How is recording with Mika and Tobias different from the two different... Uh, two different uh, it's very different, actually. I mean, the, the, the two or three previous albums, basically me and Ronnie, my drummer, wrote all the material, just him and me. Uh, for this album, the, the new guys put, put a lot of stuff uh, to the table and uh, it, it's definitely a band effort everything's written in the rehearsal place uh, everyone contributed with ideas and, and, and riffs and songs so it's uh, it's definitely different and it's it's like writing like we used to do back in the days when we when we started out so it's a uh, it's a very good feeling what is the meaning behind the cover art and the album name of procession of souls um, I don't know if it's a um, like a meaning or a message or anything. It's uh, I think the, uh, a lot of the songs on the album are are uh, the lyrics are a lot about just made up supernatural uh, stories, uh, afterlife. Uh, just a bunch of stuff you can easily write about because no one can tell you if you're right or wrong really, and it's easy for me to write about that. So the, I think that the cover uh, and the title kind of ties together a lot about what what a lot of the songs deal with. Uh, spirit worlds, ghost stories, uh, just a bunch of, of, of supernatural stuff really. Overall, what would you say the fans' response has been to the album? Very, very good actually. Uh, we were very happy with it when we, when we were done with it. We gave it to Century Media and they were very, very pleased with it and, and did a, a very good job uh, pushing it and, and promoting it. So, And when it finally got out the, the crowd or fan response has been as well so it's a uh, it's a very good feeling and uh, makes you just want to do more and more uh, touring and shows to to like promote the album and, and bring it out there for for the fans so after this tour you're going to Sweden is it any different like touring in the States than in your hometown it's uh, it's a bit different uh, I would say Europe in general is different uh, compared to the US. Uh, not crowd wise or anything like that, just everything, uh, the whole arrangement around shows are generally better in Europe. Uh, better, better organized and they take better care of the, of the bands really. But otherwise I'd, I'd say it's pretty much the same. Um, do you prefer playing like a festival or a tour? Uh, I like both of them. I mean, <clears throat> I like playing uh, smaller club shows, which are very uh, much more intimate with the audience, of course. But uh, also playing th these uh, huge summer festivals we have in Europe is 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 totally mind blowing as well, of course. So there, it's uh, there's good in both worlds, I would say, definitely. So what's next for Grave? Uh, well, this tour is almost wrapped up. We're going home. We have some festival shows uh, in the Europe during November. Uh, pretty much every weekend we have a couple of shows. 
December we don't have anything really, which I don't think we will do anything either. Uh, and we're planning a, another European run <coughs> early next year, uh, probably South America and also getting back here before the summer again. All right, well thank you. Thank you.